Hey, what's up everybody? This is going to be another Android Studio Bluetooth tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bond, how to uh, create a Bluetooth bond. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to the manifest. And I can't remember if I added all these in the last tutorial, so just throw all these in if you haven't already, all these Bluetooth permissions. Um, next thing we want to do is go over to main activity, and we're going to create an intent filter that catches the bond state change when uh, pairing occurs. So there we have our filter, and then we're going to register another receiver. Uh, I haven't made this one yet, so it's going to be re receiver 4, and pass the filter. So as you probably guessed, the next thing we're going to do is create our new broadcast receiver. We'll keep things consistent and put it up here with the other broadcast receivers. we got broadcast receiver 1, broadcast receiver 2, number 3, and here's where we'll put number 4. So now we have our default broadcast receiver constructed here and the first thing we're going to do is create our action and then we're going to do some stuff with our action. And we're looking for the action uh, bond state changed. So action bond state changed and we're going to need to get a parsable extra which is going to be the Bluetooth device and then we're going to have uh, three cases. The first case will be if uh, it'll detect uh, a device that's already bonded. So there we go. Uh, I'll just write out the cases first. It's in the process of making a bond. And case three will be if the bond is broken. So now we have our three if statements written out. We're going to write the first one. So actually the only code we're going to write in here is just going to be logging because all this is going to do is catch when the state changes. So all I really care about is uh, the log in this case. We're not actually doing anything. So I'm just going to stick a log in each one of these. And that's it. We'll move on to the onClick method for when you click on an unpaired device. So we'll go up to the top and implement uh, what is it? On click listener. There we go. And we'll create our implement our methods here. So the first thing we want to do when we click on a device to pair is cancel discovery. We always want to cancel discovery whenever we can. Don't let have it running because it's very memory intensive. Then we're going to log the fact that we clicked. Then we're going to get the device name and the device address. And then log both of those so we know what the device name and address is. And then finally we're just going to create the bond. And notice how here I checked the SDK or the API version because this create bond method that I'm calling right here can't be used unless it's um, API or 18 and above. So if I go Jelly Bean, this gets read, yeah, it's or it's 19 and above, sorry. So we need to do an API check, and it's Jelly Bean MR2. Last thing we need to do is check our on destroy because I can't remember if I added all of our broadcast receivers. Yeah, I didn't yet. Okay, so. We will create two more. There we go. Oh, one last thing before we run this. We're going to go list view new devices, set our on item click listener, go main activity dot this, and then we can run it. Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to hit the discover button. So looking for unpaired devices. Oh, I forgot to enable discoverability on my other device. There we go. So uh, this is another device I'm working on. We're not going to pair with that. It won't. It's it's difficult to pair with that. It has to requires a password. So um, a special password. So I'm going to pair with this. It's a phone. Uh, so I'm clicking on the phone, and there we go. It says uh, you clicked on a device. Device name there. Device address, and it says trying to pair. Oh, I already had it paired. So. I'll actually unpair it. Pair again. So there we go. It says bond bonding. That's when it's trying to bond. So on my other device, I hit OK since it's trying to bond with it. And I hit pair on my one device. And then there you go. It goes bond bonded. That means they're successfully paired. So that's it for this tutorial. It's pretty short. Pairing is actually pretty easy. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to do another Bluetooth tutorial after this one. I can't, I'm not sure 
what to do next. Maybe sending data. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button for more tutorials. And thanks for watching.